Welcome to Evening Prayer on this Tuesday evening, the eve of All Saints' Day. Psalm 26, 8. Lord, I have loved the habitation of your house and the place where your honor dwells. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. Apart from your grace, there is no help in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O oh most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Praise the Lord, the Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalms appointed for this evening begin on Psalm 128. Blessed are all those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. For you shall eat of the labors of your hands. It shall be well with you, and happy you shall be. Your wife shall be as a fruitful vine upon the walls of your house, your children like the olive branches round about your table. Indeed, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you out of Zion. May you see Jerusalem in prosperity all your life long. May you see your children's children and may there be peace upon Israel. Psalm 129. Many a time have they fought against me from my youth on, may Israel now say. Indeed, many a time have they afflicted me from my youth on, but they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed upon my back and made long furrows, but the righteous Lord has hewn the snares of the ungodly in pieces. Let them be ashamed and turned backward, as many as hate Zion. Let them be as the grass growing upon the housetops, which withers before it grows up, which does not fill the hand of the reaper, neither the bosom of him who binds up the sheaves, so that those who go by say, Not so much as the Lord prosper you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Psalm 130. Out of the deep have I called unto you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. But let your ears consider well the voice of my supplications. If you, Lord, were to mark what is done amiss, O Lord, who could abide it? For there is mercy with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him, and his word is my trust. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchman for the morning, more than watchman for the morning. O Israel, trust in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Psalm 131. O Lord, I am not haughty, I have no proud looks. I do not occupy myself with great matters or with things that are too high for me, but I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child upon his mother's breast. So is my soul quieted within me. O Israel, trust in the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Psalm 132. Lord, remember David and all his tribulations, how he swore unto the Lord and vowed a vow unto the Almighty God of Jacob. I will not come within the tabernacle of my house, nor climb up into my bed. I will not allow my eyes to sleep, nor my eyelids to slumber. Neither the temples of my heads to take any rest, until I find a place for the temple of the Lord, a habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Lo, we heard of the ark at Ephrathah, and found it in the wood. We will go into his tabernacle and fall low on our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints sing with joy. For your servant David's sake, turn not away the presence of your anointed. 
Lord has made a faithful oath unto David, and he shall not shrink from it. Of the fruit of your body shall I set upon your throne. If your children will keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children also shall sit upon their throne forevermore. The Lord has chosen Zion for himself. He has longed for her to be his habitation. It shall be my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have delight therein. I will bless her provisions with increase, and will satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall rejoice and sing. There shall I make the horn of David flourish. I have prepared a lantern for my anointed. As for his enemies, I shall clothe them with shame, but upon his head shall his crown flourish. Psalm 133. Behold, how good and joyful a thing it is when brethren dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, and went down to the edges of his clothing. Like the dew of Hermon, which falls upon the hill of Zion, for there the Lord has promised his blessing, even life forevermore. Psalm 134. Behold, now praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary, sing praises unto the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. First lesson is from the 13th chapter of the prophet Isaiah. The oracle concerning Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amaz saw. On a bare hill, raise a signal, cry aloud to them, wave the hand for them to enter, the gates of the nobles. I myself have commanded my consecrated ones, and have summoned my mighty men to execute my anger, my proudly exulting ones. The sound of the tumult is on the mountains as of a great multitude, the sound of an uproar of kingdoms, of nations gathering together. The Lord of hosts is mustering a host for battle. They come from a distant land, from the end of the heavens. The Lord and the weapons of his indignation destroy the whole land. Wail, for the day of the Lord is near. As destruction from the Almighty it will come. Therefore all hands will be feeble, and every human heart will melt. They will be dismayed. Pangs and agony will seize them. They will be in anguish like a woman in labor. They will look against at one, aghast at one another. Their faces will be aflame. Behold, the day of the Lord comes, cruel with wrath and fierce anger, to make the land a desolation, to destroy its sinners from it. For the stars of the heavens and their constellations will not give them light. The sun will be dark at its rising. The moon will not shed its light. I will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their iniquity. I will put an end to the pomp of the arrogant and lay low the pompous pride of the ruthless. I will make people more rare than fine gold and mankind than the gold of Ophir. Therefore I will make the heavens tremble and the earth will be shaken out of its place at the wrath of the Lord of hosts in the day of his fierce anger. And like a hunted gazelle or like sheep with none to gather them, each will turn to his own people and each will flee to his own land. Whoever is found will be thrust through, and whoever is caught will fall by the sword. Their infants will be dashed in pieces before their eyes, their houses will be plundered, and their wives ravished. Behold, I am stirring up the needs against them, who have no regard for silver, and do not delight in gold. Their bows will slaughter the young men, they will have no mercy on the fruit of the womb, their eyes will not pity children. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the splendor and pomp of the Chaldeans will be like Sodom and Gomorrah when God overthrew them. It will, be, it will never be inhabited or lived in for all generations. No Arab will pitch his tent there. No shepherds will make their flocks lie down there. But wild animals will lie down there, and their houses will be full of howling creatures. There ostriches will dwell, and there wild, ghosts, wild goats will dance. Hyenas will cry in its towers and jackals in the pleasant plate palaces. It is, its time is close at hand, and its days will not be prolonged. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed. For he that is mighty has magnified me, and holy is his name and his mercy is on those who fear him throughout all generations. He has shown the strength of his arm, 
He has scattered the proud and the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, has helped his servant Israel as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Mark, beginning with the 10th chapter and the 32nd verse. The day we're on the road... Huh? And they were on the road, going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. And they were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. And taking the twelve again, he began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him over to the Gentiles. And they will mock him, and spit on him, and flog him, and kill him. And after three days he will rise. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came up to him and said to him, Teacher, we want to you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your glory. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink, or to be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? And they said to him, We are able. And Jesus said to them, The cup that I will drink... The cup that I drink, you will drink, and, the bap- and with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. And when they had ten heard it, they began to be indignant at James and John. And Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that those who are considered rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. Whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. And they came to Jericho, and as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, get up, he is calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight followed him on the way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. My eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. The Lord have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. The Lord have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Lord, guide those who govern us, and lead us in the way of justice and truth. 
clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Collect for the eve of all saints. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtues, virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Collect from Sunday. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things, both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people, and in our time grant us your peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Collect for aid against peril on Tuesday evening. Light in our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer for mission. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite you to include your own intercessions or thanksgivings at this time. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your measurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. We pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Mighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Hope you have a great evening.